Welcome to your blue belt. This is fifth grade blue belt. And um, in this video, Ollie will be talking about the big ideas of your blue belt and um, giving you the tools so that you can practice all of these songs on your karate belt sheet. All right. The big idea here is natural. Not just like something natural like your hair, but talking about a symbol that we'll see in music and it changes how we play a note. Now, you're probably very familiar with the word sharp. And it looks like this. It looks like a hashtag or pound symbol. But in music, remember, we always call this sharp. Most of the notes that we've done sharp so far have been, yeah, F sharp and C sharp. Now, today I'm going to show you how you change those notes to F natural and C natural. Interesting. We're going to be changing where we are putting a finger or which finger you are using if you're on cello or bass. Okay, so notice again the symbol um, for natural looks like a sharp that has a couple of legs broken off. I wanted to point that out because you can think of these notes in relation to each other. There's one more symbol that happens to be in the same family that changes how you might use a note. Especially if you play piano, you might have seen this one before. It's called a flat. So you can actually have three versions of a note. F sharp. You could have F natural. That exists a lot. There's even a note called F flat. Each one of these, as you go lower on the list, it'll sound just a little bit lower. How much lower? That is a good question, and that's really what this is all about. When you go from one of these symbols to the next, going from an F sharp to an F natural to an F flat, you are going to be going what's called one half step lower on your instrument. I want to show you on a violin first. Now violas, this will look exactly the same for you, how you change. You have tapes that show where your fingers go. I'm going to show an F sharp right here. I remember that. I've got finger one on a tape, finger two on the next tape. That is my F sharp when I do this on a D string. When I want to go to F natural, I move my second finger. Now it's going to a lower place. Look how the fingers one and two are right next to each other. You might have gotten a little smiley sticker to put right here or a star, something that is halfway exactly between your first and second finger tapes. That's where you find the note F natural. Notice I use the same finger for these notes because I play violin or viola. F sharp, right on the tape. Try doing this with me. F natural, I slide my finger, finger two right next to finger one. If I wanted to do F flat, this is just to show you, I would actually take my second finger and slide lower again, about the same distance. I've landed on my first finger tape just to show you where those notes are. Again, they're all just a small distance apart and that's what the half step is. What does this look like on a cello? And what I do here on the cello is gonna look really similar to what bass players do. Cello players, we also have some tapes that show us where our fingers go. I'm gonna bring this in a little bit closer so we can see better. We should all have a place, a tape for finger one, finger three, and you probably have a, a finger, a, a tape that looks slightly different for finger two. All right, for many of, of you who are my students, it's going to be a black tape. We just haven't needed this note until today. All right. So with your fingers in position, on my D string, if I'm playing cello, I've got one on gold, three on my next colored tape two on the tape in the middle. Right now I am playing the note F sharp. All right, if I want to go to F natural, I do finger two, okay? It makes a different sound. I'm gonna set this down for a second. Now this is your distance of a half step, going from one finger to the very next, okay? If I was playing bass, my setup looks just a little bit different. One on gold still, but four is on the next colored tape. Finger two is still the one that's on the black tape. But if I'm a bass player doing this, 
when I go from F sharp to F natural, I've got finger four down or finger two like this. And listen to the different sound they'll make. F sharp. F natural. Okay. They don't sound the same, do they? You can hear it with a bow as well. F sharp. F natural. Which one sounded a little bit lower? The F natural, it has a lower sound. And that's on all of our instruments. All right. If you play viola or violin, you might even notice that there are some arrows up and arrows down in some of these songs that are on page 32 and 33 in your book. If you don't have your book out right now, I'd like you to grab it and follow along with me. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about where you find these sharps and naturals and how you can play some of these songs here. Okay. All right. Now on page 32, you can see some descriptions here, some pictures. And the song I'm gonna start with is actually going to be Spy Guy right here, number 128, okay? I notice at the beginning, I have one sharp right up here. No matter what instrument you play, you're gonna see that this sharp is centered on the line or space where F is. And that tells us that anytime we play F sharp, unless we see something different, we are gonna be playing F sharp. Sorry, anytime that we see an F in our music, it's always F sharp, unless there's something different. And look at the beginning of the song. It does start with G, G, F, sharp, F sharp, but look here, measure two. Now I have this natural symbol. Violins and violas, you have an arrow down, reminding you to scoot your second finger low to make the new note F natural. The next note doesn't ha have any markings on it, but it, that just means I'm doing the same thing as the note before. The third note here, definitely a change. I'm back to F sharp, I scoot my finger higher, F sharp again, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, open G, rest. That's my first line. Okay, I'm gonna play for you what this song sounds like. Sometimes it just helps to listen. This is number 128, Spy Guy. I'll play it slow and then I'll play it fast because it sounds like Batman. speed. I'd encourage you to pause the video, try this pattern out, and see if you can do it, do it as fast as the Batman version. All right, on your blue belt sheet, it says like a couple of things at the top. Play number 19 in your book, Mary Had a Little Lamb, with F sharp, and then Mary lost her little lamb as F natural. Okay, and I wanna show you that difference as well. On a violin or viola, remember you're starting on your D string with two on the tape. Cellos, you're just starting normal F sharp, three on the tape, basses, four on the tape. normal that sounded happy and like Mary had a little lamb but if you change it to F natural it's really gonna change the sound it's gonna be a little gloomy a little sad sounding like this Her little lamb. 
So you should definitely try that out. It really, if you can hear that difference and feel the difference as a violin and viola player, going from this position to this position, and as a cello player, going from the finger pattern, we're used to doing three, one, zero, one, three, three, three. If you're doing F naturals instead of F sharps, you're doing two, one, zero, one, two, two, two. A very different sound. Listen close. And again, bass players, instead of four, one, zero, your first couple of notes are two, one, zero, one, two, two, two. So listen for that difference. All right. You're sticking with me really well. What I want to play for you next is the two other Blue Belt songs. All right, you can go over to your book, and this is on page 33, the very bottom of the page. There's a song called Bluebird Song, number 134. As I play, I want you to look through and notice.